What is going on, Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we're going to be going over the importance of teamwork. If you guys are having trouble winning games, it's usually because your teamwork sucks. That's all there is to it. You can be a great player with a 3 KD and not win many games, mostly because your teamwork is just chalk and you're getting caught in the open, and also vice versa. If you're a player who struggles, you have bad aim, bad accuracy, bad reaction time. If you just use a simple fundamental tactic of teamwork, you can win more games even consistently but guys if you're not subscribed to the channel already make sure you do so with notifications on also leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it but without any further ado let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay look a lot of you guys struggle with aim and accuracy and strategy and i get it take some work take some practice some people don't want to practice you just want to win all right well good news is you can win even if you lack all of the above as long as four of you guys work together to just do the simplest of tasks you guys can using teamwork win games in Warzone, even if your KD is absolute garbage. Most of the time, especially in quads and trios, when teams lose, it doesn't matter how bad they are, it's purely because of the fact that they run off by themselves, they do some random stupid stuff, or when they're fighting, they're staying so close together that they just get triple collateral. And with each gunfight, hopefully getting a lot, we're going to be talking about how these teams need to be in. We're going to be talking about how these teams need to be maneuvering in order to solidify some good team fights. Oh, oh. oh, he's so fucking excited. Oh, too late. He said, damn it, Savage, you're AFK, you're shit. Spectate. Too late to level 329, it said. I'm getting old. My memory's like, phew, too bad. Three, oh, shit. We got a 681. 329 look at that dude 459 and a 681 just kidding we already looked at this dude all right going back to what i was saying in the intro one of the mistakes a lot of players have this, this team unfortunately is gone they stay too close together they focus together um right there is a perfect example two of us went out of there went out of the doorway to challenge one guy didn't even remember that we're playing quads the getaway so unfortunately because of that uh oh he's right there bro so unfortunately cat got my tongue so unfortunately because we both went out the doorway exited the building to go outside and we looked at the same direction we got collateral not just by the guy we we're shooting at but by his friends over to our right hand side all right but here we are moving on to life rips because he's rocking one kill he's even get his teammates back it's gonna be a hard regain Especially in the area that we're in. Kind of a weird spot to go, to be honest. We have four houses. We could rotate down here. It's going to be a long regain, boys. I'm going to grab a chair. I'll do the same. Go ahead and grab a seat. And while we are sitting here watching this man do absolutely nothing. I'll go ahead and tell you about the wonderful, beautiful sneak energy. Um... This video may get posted Friday, maybe Saturday, I'm not sure which, but this Friday on the 28th, they're releasing the new Blizzard flavor. It's an oh so sweet lemonade, dude. It literally just makes you close your eyes and just imagine you're sweating from a long, hard day of yard work out front. And you spot a little lemonade stand down the street and you go over to it, you take a sip and mm, you're just instantly hydrated. That's exactly what it tastes like. I may or may not have been mimicking sweet nothings to the uh, microphone. That was a little weird for me. I'm sure it was a little weird for you guys. We'll just experience this weird shit together and pretend it never happened. Use code SAVS at checkout. Make sure you do it before they sell out because they will sell out. I'll probably buy them all, to be honest. Buy a station glitch, question mark. The wonderful World of War Zone, man. Oh, this game's been out for so damn long and it still just cannot get it shit together. You guys remember back in the good old days when they would release games that were like almost perfect? No glitches, no issues, no broken guns. Well, maybe, maybe some broken guns. But they were, you know, we didn't run into shit like this. Back in my day of gaming, we didn't have bullshit companies doing bullshit things with a bullshit game. This game had so much potential, and it still does. It's, it's not completely unsavable. However, it doesn't look like Ravensoft or anyone for that matter, really gives a damn. Let's just cross our fingers that Microsoft pulls everyone together, fires them all, and hires new people to take over 
and make Warzone 2.0 or Warzone 2 or whatever the hell they name it one of the most goaded games of all time. And I believe it will happen. All right, Too Late's bought back. He's over here just fucking tearing shit up right now. Let's go spectate Too Late while all our boys over here looting shit. Our other dude's going in. You might want to go help your teammate, homie. Nah, fuck it. There's that. There's that zigzagging again. Yo, if he would have fell off. Oh, if he would have fell in the water, I would have lost my shit. But too late seems to be... Oh, he's definitely better than uh, Life Rips. Life, what are you pinging, my guy? Are you pinging loot, fam? Are you pinging a bunch of bullshit no one cares about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Fucking weird. Oh my yo bro don't hit don't hit the tree son look at this dude all right we're going back to your boy because uh he's over here at least playing and slaying while fucking life rips is over here just ripping assholes in the tree as he floats down we've got one two i believe i saw an enemy on the left hand side as well i was gonna say i like the fact that he's being patient so he can push up to the next little hump over here to close the gap but then he starts shooting at the enemy way too late you're either a gonna be patient and close the gap or b shoot them instantly don't allow them to run all the way to cover and then start firing at them that was just dumb owner's gonna need some help we got a percentage strike coming in may not be near us it is damn well near us one guy below us. We got a guy above us as well. Green goes down. No surprise there. We're not really... Is anybody surprised that Green goes down? Life. Life went down too. That right there is definitely not a surprise. Dude, too late put on a show. Trying his best to carry this squad. And unfortunately, it's gonna he's going to need a big old backpack. All right, but going back to the conversation of teamwork. Instead of just trolling these guys. What the hell is happening? We're not working together. We're not playing together. Life rips us off doing his own bullshit. If he just would have come over here with us when the moment too late started getting a gunfight, he could use the buy station next to us to buy back our squad. And then Judge Judy could have come down and rained the hammer on everybody. There are two above us, so great job bailing out because you damn well will get double pushed. Now, I would play this doorway or not. I'd be playing every doorway as I back out of it. That way, the, the enemies get a little more hesitant when you start breaking their fucking armor plates. Enemy jumping off the top. We got to challenge this guy. There's no way about it. But youthful gaming. TTV, you didn't even stand a chance. They got TTV in the clan tag. You might as well back the fuck out. You know damn well they're goaded. All right, but moving on. Thank God. Moving on. TTV, youthful gaming. My dude, raw habits and slats. Ooh. Okay. Okay, slat. My man with seven kills, 64 up. Not too shabby. Not, not the best in the world, but definitely not a bot. And he's stuck in his shit as well. Oh, but yeah, the, the teamwork of that squad was just absolutely ignorant. Especially when they had Too Late, who was a decent player. When they had him on the squad, as long as they just... As long as they just worked together, he could have carried them easily. Easily. All right, now, in Verdansk, I was completely against the recon. In this map, I'm not as much against it. I don't like the idea of it ever, but there's a guy falling in right there. You spotted him. Um, but it does help you spot enemies in this condensed-ass... Condensed-ass fucking map. Good job, dude. We're all going ahead and getting the cleanup on the guy we just pinged. We got another squad up here to the west. 33 targets. Sounds like there's... Gunshots coming from the left-hand side as well. Look at blue. Look at blue right now. Everyone look at blue. Look at him. Look at him. What are you doing, blue? Blue's pushing up by himself while we're in a recon drone. Orange is just sitting here holding our, holding our pockets. My man says, I live my life in prison, bro. I'm, I'm good at holding some pockets. And then he makes his way back to us. It's probably the better decision. Again, you guys want to play together to win these team fights. Why would you... Notice how that squad right there, they were spread out. They were moving towards us. They are playing together. Us, eh, not so much. Oh, boy. These are some beamers, son. 
then again, it's not really a compliment to say beamers. Most of these guns will have recoil. We have invisible skins, Liddy. There's one guy too. It's gonna be a hard push no matter how you do it. I like the fact that we're going to the right hand side. That way we can utilize the buildings to separate ourselves from the enemy. There still is an enemy further to the left that we need to watch out for. I'm pretty sure he's sniping at us too. But this is definitely the better way to push. Instead of just straight up the middle like Blue did. Again, we're utilizing the buildings to separate ourselves from the enemy. We are very low on ammo. Oh God. Yep, he didn't see him. Damn, dude. He didn't see him. Same situation. We push up by ourselves. Our teammates really aren't doing much of shit. And here we are. Orange needs to come back to buy the teammate. He has it hasn't clicked in his head yet. Nice. Oh my god, son. So one of the reasons why I don't like sniping. In this map is because of time to kill on on the ARs so fast. I'm not looking at it like it sucks. I'm looking at it like, Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> time to kill has sped up so much since Verdansk. Oh my God. And that's just one of the reasons why I don't like sniping on this map. I love sniping in Verdansk. Sniping Card 98 and AX50 were my main weapons for the longest time. But if the enemy can hit one shot and create that flinch, you're dead before you can even recover from it. It is unfortunate, man. But here we are moving on to Predator. And again, they had a really good teamwork during that fight. Well, here, well, let's go back. Let's go back to your boy. What is he? What are you doing? Right now the zone's coming in, of course, so we're gonna go ahead and rotate. It's kind of weird that there's only 35 players left in the circle. I say weird, I'm so used to Verdansk, even after this map being out for two months. It's not weird at all. People just die really fast in this map. Mid game's usually really slow. <sighs> if they would just reorganize the points of interest and cluster up certain areas, this I, I really think the flow of this map would be better. Forget the loadout thing. The loadout would definitely help, but that's not even a necessity. Maybe it is. That's not even, that's not even the main thing. I think it's just the flow of the map. Everything's just perfectly separated from other shit. You know, like there's no there's no POI right here at all. All right, so go back to teamwork. I don't like the fact that purple and blue are so up Predator's ass. I get Predator's the carry and you want to stay relatively close, but again, fan out a little bit. Like the distance that orange is isn't that bad. I like, I like that purple's going that way now, but blue needs to spread out as well. You want kind of a gap like this. This is getting a little too intense. This this gap is perfect. That way, if an enemy's up here and starts shooting at you, he can't get a triple kill because you're all on top of each other, right? Right now, if there's an enemy team, these two guys would be dead instantly, and then they would have to transition to green. But if you guys are fanned out, let's just imagine one right here, one right here, and one right here. This guy would have to transition and focus three enemies at the same time, while all three of us would only have to focus one at the same time. I don't, I don't think we need money, brother. Objectives would be nice. We really don't have many objectives, so never mind of that. Now, look, I like what they're doing. They're expecting the gatekeep. Why are they expecting the gatekeep? Well, runway's coming out. That's a buy station. Beachhead's coming out. That's a buy station. And usually a hot spot, as well as this area with the buy station. So we can catch a lot of players rotating to this area. Oh, fucking weird. And that just comes from knowing just the map and how players play. Predator is in, uh, in orange are clearly aware of the map they've clearly been playing this a long time so before they even threw the uav up they knew exactly exactly where these guys are going to be at predicting enemy movement is a crucial must when you're rotating or going for a, a simple gunfight one boy got in a vehicle he's gonna run around the north hand side of it so we're gonna go ahead and try to our best to cut them off Oh my god, the range on this. I couldn't play it up, bro. We know there are a lot more players around here. 
Unless they all got that vehicle and drove off together. But I doubt it. Not to mention, don't forget this buy station. Some enemies could have already pre-rotated there. Look at your boy with the most wanted. Wow, balls on this man here. They're fighting each other. Perfect opportunity to push from third party. Notice how we're just going ahead and... No, not wasting any damn time at all. Dude, you're an animal with this ranged MP40 build, brother. Bertha coming up to orange. Let's see how they play this. He just outplayed. Oh, no! Good shit with the nade. Still one enemy over there, though. Blue and green just got here in perfect amount of time. to go ahead and collapse. Help with the fight. Good job on orange trying to get the pings out. What a dick. Ballsy contesting the glint, but again, with the snipers in this game and the time to kill the ARs, uh, we have the guy to our left I'm really worried about and the guy in front of us. This is questionable at best. I don't like this at all, brother. I do not like this at all. We're fucked. Damn. So again, going back to teamwork, what happened? How did that team collapse? What went wrong? Well, we spread out a little too much. I really don't want to slay them on that. They were just focused on two different fights. Um, again, but it's unfortunate because those guys were working different angles. Notice the guy playing the sniper that got the last kill on us on Predator. And then notice the two guys by the Bertha. And then they had a teammate further to the right. When we started fighting, all of our teammates were focused on that Bertha and the area around it to focus those enemies. We weren't even aware of the enemy to the far right and the far left. Which ended up, which ended up being the reason Haku died, as well as your boy Predator. Now, when Predator was pushing, I under, I understand why he wasn't plating. I get it, but we shouldn't have pushed in the first place. That was crazy. I knew the guy was left hand side. That's who I would have pushed instantly because it was a two v one fight. If we can catch that guy out in the open and just pray that that sniper doesn't hit us and utilize the trees and the rocks and the ridges as a to our advantage as cover oh, to protect us from the sniper, we had a chance to outplay that guy. I would have pushed the dude. That killed our teammates to the left-hand side. That was our best bet. But instead, we ran out in the open right towards the sniper. Um, and it just, we just didn't stand a chance. Not to mention, we're lucky we didn't get shot from the guy to the left-hand side, too. Just making decent decisions in moments like that can literally be the difference between a really good game and a really bad game. That was a good squad. Just one decision snowballed into a bunch of panic decisions, and that's how they ended up dying. But it's not over for him yet. Predator's still in the gulag. He might be able to come back and get a regain going on. But with 11 enemies left and a small-ass zone... I don't know about this one. We got a most wanted bounty. We could do it. I'd do it. Fuck it. Why not? I wouldn't Mary Poppins that shit, though. I'll tell you that much. You got to come in like a, like a stealthy rabbit. Now, to be honest, the most wanted is probably the dumbest thing because that's, that's almost an instant death. Small circle. You're going to get shit on no matter what. If there's a vehicle around, maybe. But his best bet now is to hopefully find some dead bodies, grab their shit. And just win this out. Maybe lose some money. We know there's a squad over here. We know there's a squad over here. And they were shooting at somebody else as well. So we still have two missing teams. And we are just floating our asses off, boys. I'm not really sure what our game plan is. To be honest, I can't hate. I don't know if I'd have a game plan either. But going back to what I was saying. I would. But going back to what he should be doing. I definitely would have landed peak. You know you're going to find weapons there. You know there's going to be some dead bodies there, especially since it's on the edge of the zone. And that team was fighting another squad, so you could potentially third party or, again, just, just get the weapons off their cleaned up bodies. All right, here we go. You got to go for the execute to get his shit. He's going to have teammates nearby. Here comes the vehicle again, and we're getting shot at from the opposite angle, brother. Oh, my God. You are ballsy, my dude. Didn't even pick up the satchel, homie. Didn't even pick up the satchel. Vigo got off right here, so they may be pushing as well. I do not like the fact we wasted that. When we had a satchel laying next to us. This is no bueno. This is just begging to waste plays. I'd get out of this area. We're center zone. You have this team over here. You have this team over here. This is an easy place to get pinched. I don't like this. I just bail back and play the edge. That's a waste. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. We'll do it. Now they're fighting somebody else. You see the pings lighting up right now. Footsteps over our left hand side and to the right. Come on, oh, the guys are just ruining the sound for us. Oh no, brother. So we piss off the guy on green. We piss off the guys behind us. We got to do something. You're going to have to fight one of these teams. You can't just sit here. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Where's this team to our right hand side? Oh, there they are. There they are. I don't know why he was so focused on the guys out there. I have no idea. You guys got to focus the teams that are closer to you. It doesn't make any damn sense. At all. I get he was out in the open. It could have been easier to kill. But, bro, you're just, you're just giving your position away to the enemy squad. That's why you just got four-man push. Decent move for your boy. Here we have Red Tricks, another TT Veer. Rocking the diamond brand. It's, we are the only four man squad, most likely. Here's this poor SOB. We've been running for his life since we were spectating the last guy. Good diving back to cover when he notices he's out in the open. Girl jumping down. Oh no, she got fucked up. Oh. Now we are in an intense. Uh, he got the knock, so it'd be a 3v1 right now if he get the execute. Combat diving in. Oh yeah, they don't stand a chance in hell. GG. Now look, the fights at the end of the game got a little intense, so we couldn't really... So we couldn't really like talk about the teamwork. That's, a, that's the beauty between the series when I pause the videos and really go in depth. Because again, I think every team we spectated with the exception of the last one, they collapsed because they were just spread too far apart. And these were decent players. A lot of them were decent players. So again, no matter how good your skill is, there are times you will lose games because your teamwork is shit and vice versa. No matter how bad your skill is at the game, you can win games because of teamwork. There's usually one common denominator, one common skill, that most teams who win consistently in a quads game require, and that is teamwork. You have to have it. If you don't use it, you're going to get shit on. That's all there is to it. And again, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you right here exactly how to join our Discord community. There's nothing for me. It's purely for you guys. Um, this is a perfect way to go out there, use our Looking for Groups pages to find players to play with solos, quads, duos, trios, rebirth, the entirety even in certain regions. So if you guys are in the EU, if you guys are in Australia, whatever the case is, you can find players local. That way you don't have a ping difference. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel today. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.